All right, this is Reaper. I'm just going to go over how to make this big old drum track. Um, just MIDI drums that was recorded from a uh, an electric drum kit. It had a few issues with the uh, threshold velocities. How to kind of clean that up, get rid of some of the lower velocities that are messing with us. So here's, here's an idea of how it sounds like right now. Okay, that sounds all right, but once we get over to here, it starts getting a little interesting. You can hear that it's triggering extra kick hits so right now uh, this track is divided into a bunch of sections and if I open the piano roll you can see I'm only seeing this one section uh, so to make things easier for the next step I'm going to just duplicate this uh, just in case you know uh, I always duplicate before I do anything major so that's that's what I'm doing here so to combine all these together, we can go and, uh, you know what, I'll just uh, double click actually on the side here to select all the tracks. And then I'll right click this area and say glue items. What that does is it glues it all together. That's, that's the point of the glue items. So now when I open it, I have the whole thing. I can zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. And as I zoom in, you can see a lot of these extra hits. Uh, down here is the velocities for each, uh, each piece that we're seeing. And uh, as I scroll out, we can see a lot of low velocity things. Let's see what this one is. Oh, it says up at the top. What do we got? Uh, oops. All right. So, yeah, this is kind of in that, like, bottom quadrant there. So that'll be... We see things that are in the bottom quadrant. I think those are things that are less than 32 velocity. Things uh, below the middle quadrant are less than 64 velocity or 63. And then uh, everything above that's bigger than 63. Uh, I think this is bigger than 96 for the top quadrant. So I'm really just looking at these, these little tiny hits that are extra. Uh, that look unintentional. They look like they're all about under maybe about 45 or 50. Um, maybe even 60. So what do we do about that? Wouldn't it be cool if there's a way to filter out all of the uh, all the bad stuff and then remove it? Well, there happens to be something built in Reaper for that. Up here, we can get this funnel-shaped icon. It's called Filter. We click on it. And it gives us a bunch of options about what we want to try to filter out. Right now, nothing's selected in it, so it's not ready to filter out anything for us. Um, and if we have all channels selected for this, it'll, it'll be all the MIDI possible on here, so I have that selected currently. Now, the event that I'm going to go after is uh, each one of these is a note. So I'm just going to go after the notes. Gonna select velocity. And now, you know, I don't need this. Uh, select velocity. If I want anything between 0 and. I don't know, 30. Let's see what happens. 0 and 32. That's a nice number. We can see there's a lot of stuff that's 
just kind of living in here. This is this is the this is a lot of the business that we're kind of getting a little hearing. If I increase the filter range, you'll see more stuff. Now I'm at 48. If I increase it to 60, you can see there's there's quite a bit uh, of stuff. Now we're starting to see more structure happening here. When you start seeing more structure, that means you're starting to remove things that might have been intentional. If I go back to, uh, like, say, 32, we see a lot of this stuff doesn't have so much structure. It's more kind of like uh, stuff that will just happen anyways. It'll, it'll, if I can... We can kind of just look at it a little bit better here. It doesn't have too much structure. It it just uh, it's kind of noisy. Stuff that may not be intentional. Increase it to 64. We see there are these things that almost look like outliers that pop up. So to me, that looks like there's more intention here. If I open it up all the way to 127. You can see it's all over the place, and you can see there is kind of some structure. There's a whole lot of 127s going on here. Um, going to bring it back down to 90. You can see, see here's a level, here's a level, here's a level. It kind of all lives in ranges. So the moment that we start chopping down to uh, down to 60. We may be removing things that we want. I'm going to bring it down to maybe about 50. This seems to be a little better. 55. No crazy outlier business, and it seems pretty well uh, structured. It seems it seems dense. It seems dense in the way that I'd expect it. So I'm just going to say 55 right now. I'm going to set that as the selection. I'm going to just scroll this back down here so we can see the MIDI notes. Set selection will select all the items that have been filtered by the filter. We can also see invert and see everything that doesn't obey that filter as well. So we can see the effect of what happens when I say increase this to 96. We can see it removes a lot of the notes. Oh, Maybe 100, you know, 110. <laughs> we can see the main culprits for the high velocity hits. The snare. This symbol. And just a little bit on this. Or no, sorry. Oh, there we are. So it looks like the snare is the main culprit for those high velocity hits. So we'll just take a note of that. If I invert it now, see everything that is captured by the filter. I'm going to do the 55 like I said before. And say set selection. It selects them all. And now I can go back over to this window and just hit delete. And now, if we go back to the original project, we have a more cleaned up uh, MIDI, um, what can I call, you know, MIDI track. Sounds better to me. So that's one thing that we can do in order to get rid of a lot of these, uh, not what I'd call ghost notes, but like sub-ghost notes. Stuff that you wouldn't intend to have as hits. Because when you're triggering electric drums, what happens is the triggers see hits from other parts of the drum set if it's too sensitive. 
And then uh, the other portion is maybe because it's too sensitive it and it has a certain threshold, uh, sometimes a lot of your hits will just be 127s all the time, as we saw here. And it's that's a harder problem to fix. Anyway, I hope you find this useful. So, have good.